So, a biology professor gets fired for teaching biology? How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a professor at a Texas, San Antonio, Texas community college who was fired for saying that biology is real, meaning we're talking about gender, sex, or whatever. It's determined by X and Y chromosomes and not anything else. Somebody may feel differently. They may identify differently, and that's fine. However, the biology is not going to change. And it's crazy for a few reasons. First of all, Texas, I thought that we were more conservative out there. San Antonio, Texas, maybe not. Maybe not in academia. But the second thing is, I thought that a lot of these liberal people who probably fired this 20-year professor at the community college, I thought a lot of them said, Trust the science. Remember that? Remember uh, Anthony Fauci talking about trust the science, believe the science, like when he said the masks aren't going to work. Then he said they are going to work. And the reason why I lied is because I wanted the mask to not have a big run on them, although he was telling the absolute truth from the beginning. That same guy, he said trust the science. A lot of your liberal people believed him. Trust the science, believe the science. The vax works. There's no problems. There's no side effects. Trust the science. Masks work. Lockdowns work. All that. And a lot of these things obviously did not work. A lot of these things are proven to be detrimental and harmful to human beings. But now we have basic biology that has not changed. Things that we were taught as children, if you're my age especially, X, Y chromosomes determine your gender, your sex. If you have two X's, you are a woman. If you have two, if you have, not two, <laughs> I might make something else up. If you have an X and a Y, that means you're a man. Simple. Whatever you want to do with yourself, dress up, identify, think in your mind, whatever you want to do, that's your business. It does not change biology. It doesn't do it. But my man was fired for saying that. And there's an article right here. We can kind of skim through it. I have another story as well about someone else who got fired and is currently suing his school. But you see what's going on here. Biology professor says he was fired for teaching sex is determined by X and Y chromosomes. And can I pause for a minute? Now, some are going to say, well, gender is different. Please stop. Please stop. When has it ever been different? It's the same thing, male, female, that's it. Biology, that's just what it is. Why are we talking about, why even have a debate about that? There is no debate to have. This is basic science, but, you know, we, we can't, I think, I think nowadays, 2023, basic science, basic biology is racist and harmful and bigoted, okay? So let's, let's continue here. Uh, so he's at a community college in Texas. He claims he was fired for religious preaching, <laughs> religious preaching. After he taught a lesson about how sex is determined by X and Y chromosomes, Johnson Varkey, who was taught at St. Philip's college in San Antonio for 20 years, claimed he was accused of religious preaching and let go after he discussed the human reproductive system during a lesson on November 28th, 2022, which led to four students walking out of the lecture hall. So <laughs> why would you see this, this right here points to the K through 12 indoctrination. These kids who left, well, not kids, you're talking about adults. I would assume in college, these adults, these young adults left the lecture hall because they had been brainwashed from a young age to believe that biology, when it comes to your gender identity, your sex or whatever, they think that's not really a real thing. They think that's bigoted. They think biology in this sense is hateful. It's racist. It's harmful. It's triggering. That's what they think because of what they've been taught in K through 12. You know, shout out to all the young guys out there. You know, a lot of these young guys tell me, you know, they try, they try to be out here on a dating market and they go on these apps and all the girls or a lot of the girls have uh, non-binary and pansexual and queer, all this and that and the third. I saw the a chart that I put in the video recently 
where they said 40% of Gen Z identify as some kind of LGBT, which is nowhere near where it should be. It should be less than 5%, and that's high. 40% points to obvious indoctrination from a young age. Let's continue here. The First Liberty Institute, a Texas-based nonprofit Christian conservative law firm, last week sent a letter to the school on behalf of the veteran educator demanding his reinstatement. The college fired him for teaching basic and widely accepted concepts of biology. We're asking the college to immediately reinstate Dr. Varkey to his position and clear his record of any wrongdoing. And that's something right there in the center of the screen. Person of color, right? I guess it don't really matter when the things that you teach, which are um, proven science, are now seen as somehow bigoted. Basic, we ain't talking about nothing that's really that deep. We're talking about basic biology, basic, like one plus one is two basic stuff, but that's somehow racist. Varkey, an adjunct professor, has taught human anatomy and physiology to more than 1,500 students since 2003. During Varkey's 20-year employment as a biology professor at St. Philip's College, he consistently received exemplary performance reviews and was never subject to discipline. Throughout that time, we never discussed with any student his personal views, religious or otherwise, or human gender or sexuality. Okay, it, it's, it's really just that simple. Um, I will link to this in the description so you can read it for yourself. But here's another one. And the reason why I'm showing two in this one and not just focusing on the one is because I want to show a pattern. I can do thousands of these. I'm exaggerating. But maybe I can do thousands. I know at least there's much more than the two I'm going to show you in this video. But people are asking, hey, ABL, what's going on with uh, wokeness in academia? Why are these kids so crazy? It's because a lot of your administrations of um, K through 12, college, undergrad, postgrad, it's infected with liberalism from top to bottom. And if you don't want to play ball as a professor or even an administrator, you get ousted. You see what's going on right here in the headline. Penn State professor says school forced him to teach English language is white supremacy, religious cult. So if you don't say that English, meaning the language, the English language, if you don't say that's racist or white supremacist, that means you're a bigot. So that's right. All you guys speaking English right now, if you can understand me right now, when I'm speaking English, that means you're a bigot, you're a white supremacist. I am a white supremacist because I speak English. That's kind of what I'm getting. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's get into it. Former Penn State University professor Zach DePero is suing the school for discriminating against him on the basis of race. Now, Penn State, wasn't that where there was a certain guy who was doing something for a certain period of time? They're trying to put, you know, put on the rug. Is that that same college or was it somewhere else? Y'all know what I'm talking about. But I digress. I guess the English language being racist is a bigger uh, fish to fry than what I just mentioned. Okay. Anyway, a professor is suing Penn State for race discrimination after he was subjected to instruction that the English language is racist and the embodiment of white supremacy, along with additional tirades against white people in professional development settings, uh, trainings, according to a lawsuit. Professor Zach DePiro was individually singled out for ridicule and humiliation because of the color of his skin. Uh, the lawsuit filed by the Foundation Against Intolerance and Racism Fair said, now I've heard some of this story on the news and they called it reverse racism. Ain't no such thing. It's either racist or it's not. Reverse racism is a racist term in itself. That like that right there is saying that all racism, like that's, that's saying that normal racism only goes from white to others. That's not true. Anyone can be racist. I'm not saying everyone is a racist, but anyone has the ability to be racist. It doesn't matter what their color is, but let's keep on going. So he's an English professor at Penn State Abington. So <laughs> you want the, the English professor to teach a lesson about English being racist. Quote, when you complain about the continuous stream of racial insult directed at white faculty in the writing department, the director of the Affirmative Action Office told him that there is a problem with the white race, that he should attend anti-racist workshops until you get it, and that he might have mental health issues. 
<laughs> I mean, what in the world? If you're paying to go to places like this, it's it's crazy. You know, I got young guys and girls that call my live show and they ask me about going to college and what they should do and where they should go. And one of the things I tell them is, okay, you need to research where you're going to go. First of all, what are you going to do? How much will you spend? Like, how much will it cost you to go into your career and make money? Look at that. Your cost to projected income ratio. And then also look at the culture of the school. Do they have stuff like this going on? Or is it a racist school? Do they focus more on LGBTQ, elemental P over the actual lesson plan? Like, let's talk about that to research where you want to go to, to figure out your next destination. Those are things you should really inquire about. Penn State might not be the wave because you see this type of thing going on. OK, I would not pay any of my money because it's your money now, whether it be a scholarship, whether your parents or somebody paying on your behalf. You have the control over where that money goes. So you need to spend wisely. But let's continue and then I wrap it up. And put the bow clean on top. Quote, the white teachers are a problem, unquote, video imposed on Penn State faculty associated with white supremacy with all the evils of the world, according to the lawsuit. So there, there was a presentation called white teachers are a problem. Now, substitute white with black and we would have uh, George Floyd 2020 rights all over again. And again, ain't no such thing as reverse racism. Either it's racist or not. He said the university wanted him to believe that as a white individual, I'm somehow responsible for all the injustices and suffering currently in the world and the history of the world. There's more to this um, article. I will, I will link to it in the description box. All right. So this person right here is part of the lawsuit. Hold on. Here's the right report in the English department. Liliana Nyadan expressed her view that racism Practice against white faculty and students is legitimate, according to the lawsuit. Naya Dan did not immediately respond to a request for comment. So I guess this person is the the tip of the spear when it comes to racism against whites. Let me guess. She identifies as some kind of random ethnicity when in reality, she's probably as white as white could be. White as American pie, white as snow, white as drinking beer in Colorado, riding on a horse. All right, that's, that's, you know what? That's probably the great way to wrap it on up. Um, as I close, I want to say this. Um, it's hard to find a place of higher education or even K through 12 that is not infected with this kind of stuff. It's going to take a full effort from the top to the bottom, from the faculty, those that run the school, and also the teachers themselves. If you got teachers that are onto this woke stuff, you're not going to have a good time. And if the faculty, if the staff, if those that run the actual school are on the wokeness, you're not going to have a good time. It's going to take a collaborative effort from all those involved. Now, if the kids want to be woke, well, hey, they're paying their money. Maybe they're not going to like it when they go to the school and they learn that sex is determined by X and Y chromosomes. And it's a biological fact that's been around since the beginning of man. They may not like that. So they take their dollars elsewhere. We shouldn't be trying to cater to the lowest common denominator. Not at all. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here with these different cases? Um, if you are a white person and you say that English is not racist, that means you're going to get fired. If you are a person of color, non-white, don't even matter what color you are, and you say that biology as far as your, your your sex is determined by X and Y chromosomes, you get fired for that as well. Whatever your thoughts on these cases are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is becoming far too common in the good old US of A, and it is a plague, and it's ruining our young generation. Hopefully, we can turn it around because the way things are going right now, it doesn't look too good for us. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.